Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. So this is the first week of the NASCAR off season. I will say it was really weird not watching a race, <laughs> but uh, don't worry because every Tuesday I will have a Dirt to Daytona coming out the whole off season. So stay tuned. And of course, today is the last race of our first season in Cup. And we are headed to Homestead, Miami. So Homestead is one of the tracks that we only go to once a year in this game. So we are on the default setup and uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to make some changes. I'm sure a lot of those changes too will be uh, to my driving style because I'm sure it drives a lot different than it did in the trucks, but I mean, I haven't driven this track since like probably January of this year. So <laughs> that muscle memory is gone. I'm probably gonna have to take some camber out of the right front because uh, we're getting real hot <laughs> on the inside and uh, the car is also like crazy loose on entry, super tight on exit. Seems like we have that problem everywhere. I'm sure part of that is my driving style too, but man. We slide a lot. Like I didn't even, I didn't even turn. I just hit the brakes and we slid that much. So yeah, definitely gonna have to make a change. All right, so I did my standard set of changes, and uh, we're going to see what we can do. Car high, car low. All right, we didn't spin out going into the first corner. That's always a plus. Ooh, who hit the wall? Fake Jimmy Johnson. So the car definitely feels a lot better. I'll be interested to see if it's faster, but certainly feels better. Sorry, Kurt. All clear. Gotta go fast. It'll be fine. There's a spin in turn four. Guys. All clear. Well, that's definitely going to mess up this lap time. <laughs> Car low. Clear low. Yeah, that seemed like a really good corner entry. Wasn't super fast, but we did have those problems in one and two with other cars. So we'll see. Ooh, we are downshifting to third. That is not good at all. Why would we do that? All right, this felt like a good lap minus the downshift, so... Nope, still slow. <laughs> we also do have some uh, front bumper damage, which is certainly not helping the speed in the car, but... We have front bumper damage so often during races that if I can make the car good with damage, it'll probably be good in a race. Clear low. All clear. Car low. All clear. Yeah, we just gotta ding up every corner in practice and then uh, then we can see how fast we are. <laughs> also, it is so weird to see like flat homestead compared with how banked homestead is now and every time i've been you know it's been super banked so it's uh definitely different for sure 
in this game it's almost just like a, a big New Hampshire Ooh, that was uh, not the prettiest I don't even want to look at the right front I know it is very upset Oh yeah, it's fine. That was a great lap. All right, wasn't our best lap, but we are getting faster even eight laps into the run. So I'm gonna make a couple more changes and then uh, maybe it'll be time to qualify. So I have uh, made like three different rounds of changes since the last time you've seen me. I uh, changed a ton of stuff at once, spun out trying to leave the pits, <laughs> so I uh, went back and reverted a couple of those changes. The car was still crazy loose, so I reverted another change, and now it seems a little better. All clear. I don't like the downshift though. Why are we doing that? So the car might be better, the car might be worse. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Oh, why would you go to the bottom? Why would you do that? It's very rude. Still there. You're all clear. Hello, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. So the car is definitely less stable than last time, but it is faster. Clear high. Clear high. So if I can stand to drive this for, you know, two laps and qualify, I might try to go All back clear. to uh, that last run of practice where the car definitely felt a lot more stable, but we'll see. Because loose is fast, but loose is also how I crash. Oh yeah, that was fast. I think I'm going to qualify with this setup and then uh, might have to revert back on a couple things. So we're still over half a second off of pole time, but that's fine. We'll be fine. Don't make me lift. Okay, it's stuck enough. Should have some good speed coming to the green. Don't touch the apron. Had to lift just a bit not to catch the wall, but all right, let's see where we all right, we were one one thousandth of a second better, I think, than our previous best lap. So that's as good as we could have qualified, I think. Um, let's see where we stack up. Top fifteen start. Not too bad. So I'm gonna go back and make one quick change to the car. Um, I probably won't record practice, um, just making sure I fix the car <laughs> uh, before I hop in the race. But yeah, let's uh, hope for the best. Alan Bestwick in gorgeous South Florida at the Homestead Miami Speedway. 
Although one of the newest additions to the NASCAR circuit, Homestead draws huge crowds with its distinctive blend of length at a mile and a half and minimal banking, leading to some real driving exhibitions for happy fans. Thanks, Alan. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So I made a bit of a spring change. The car oh. felt better and I was two tenths faster. So Clear low. I'm very happy with uh, <laughs> with that change I made. So hopefully we do well and uh, you know, hopefully we can finish off the season on a high note. So we will have to pit twice. Oh, I didn't turn Auto. enough there. Everything's fine. Stay high. Still there. So yeah, we'll be pitting All twice clear. this race. It says the fuel run was about 14 laps. I can't imagine we could stretch that to 17, 18 to be able to make it just on one stop, so. Definitely going to be looking for a early caution to uh, put ourselves in the pit only once more window, but we're going to try not to be the cause of any cautions today. All clear. And at least at the beginning of the run, the car does feel like it is turning pretty well. sometimes too well oh no not the wall everything's fine everything's fine Car low. Car I heard high. crunch but I didn't see a crunch Car low. Clear low. oh that was just lovely yep that's exactly how I meant to pass them. Still there. All clear. Well, uh, that little spin is going to make Make finishing well a little harder. Carlo. So of course, in practice, the car gets really tight with damage, and now in the race, the car has gotten really loose with damage, which is not not what we want. Oh, he's spin in turn three. he's yeah. Well. We're gonna pit and <laughs> try to fix this thing up a little bit. Oh boy. So as we get this pit cycle going, who was your favorite driver when you started watching NASCAR, whenever that may be? And who is your favorite driver now? I was into NASCAR basically as soon as I was born. My dad was a general manager at Winn-Dixie back when Mark Martin drove the Winn-Dixie Bush car. So we went to Daytona, you know, with like the VIP passes every year. My mom was a big Jeff Gordon fan. My dad really liked Dale Jarrett. I think the first driver I like really rooted for was Kevin Harvick. So I've like when I played all the racing games as a kid, I always drove the 29. And, you know, now that he's retired, I've become an Alex Bowman fan. I met him through a friend that worked with his team. And uh, now that friend works for Justin Haley. So I've also kind of been rooting for following Justin Haley. And then I have another friend that works on Corey Himes team in the truck series. So been a big Corey Heim fan the last couple years as well. So let me know. When did you get into NASCAR? Who was your driver when you got in? And if they don't race anymore, who's your driver now? Let me know. It looks like 
a lot of the field is pitting this time by. Um, so we might cycle pretty far forward. But the pace car is off. So the pace car is off, but it looks like Dave Blaney is pitting this time by. This game is wild. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Come on, bump draft, Steve. Carlo. It's so wild. Some Carlo. tracks we take off so well, and then other tracks we do not have takeoff speed all at all. <laughs> Oh, sorry. All clear. Oh, he's. Oh, goodness gracious. There's We're doing great. Clear low. I think I saw the someone flip. Out. Yeah. All clear. Everything's fine. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm running into people during the Space cars during out. the caution laps. Well, at least they uh, got my driving style in the game. The pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So with 21 laps to go, we have 14 laps of fuel. Car high. Oh, Jeff, why didn't you fix that? That looks bad. Still there. That high. can't be good for arrow. Oh, why are we so loose again? Still there. We're, We're still clear. super loose on entry and then super I tight know. on exit. I love this game. I love it go. so much. Dog. There. I'm glad you hit the wall. Carlo, clear high. Still there. Clear low. All clear. My tires will not be happy about that, but that's okay. Excuse me, guys. Oh, and we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That was a great lap. Yeah, it was. I only spun out like twice. And then had a terrible entry to the next corner. Let's go. So halfway through the race, we have somehow made it into the top 10. If we can hold on for a top 10, I will be so stoked. Because <laughs> I feel like we are still so bad. Great lap. 
I love how in the mirror, Kurt Busch's front end looks fine, and then Carlo. I can see that it's <laughs> completely destroyed. Oh, come on. Stay high. Still there. We're definitely going to have to make an adjustment on, uh, Still there. on our pit cycle. Also, apologies if you see me, like, biting my lip a million times during this episode. I was in a wedding this weekend, and at some point during the pictures, um, we were all hugging the groom, and uh, someone accidentally punched me in the face, so <laughs> it split my lip a little bit. Um, so it's been aggravating me a lot <laughs> the last couple days. I told the photographer when she goes through the photos, she's got to tell me who it was that punched me so I can give him a bunch of crap for it because nobody fessed up, but I think I know who did it. Yeah, with all the damage we have, the car has just, just gotten terrible. <laughs> Ooh, somebody smoked the wall up there. I think it might be Tony Stewart. It looks orangish in the distance. Yep, that was Tony Stewart. Somehow he didn't lose much time, even with hitting the wall. Yeah, uh, especially on the the infield pitting lane, he uh, <laughs> made some pretty good time for what I assume was a blown right front tire. We are losing so much time right now. <laughs> My goodness. Watch those tires. Yeah, I, Carlo, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit this time as well. Ooh, somebody's blown up. Oh, well, we missed pit road. And I may have ended someone's day. My bad. Yep. There sure is. Well, if we blow up this lap, or uh, blow a tire this lap, <laughs> I know, uh, 
I should have paid it last time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, we just aren't turning. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, let's make it quick. I got people to crash into. Yeah, I definitely should have pit a couple laps earlier. I lost so much time with the uh, with the right front being destroyed. No. The car head is paved. The <sighs> I was trying to do pit. half a tank. <sighs> the engine's blown. God. I love this game. I love it so much. I'm having so much fun. What a way to end the season. I love this game so much. Maybe it's just an animation thing, but I swear I saw the fueler plug in the fuel like I'm so mad Welp, this is where our season has come to a rest turn three at Homestead Miami in 40th place Woo. well I gotta say that was about the biggest bummer of an ending to a season we could have had but uh yeah, let's uh, see how much money we lost today. Thankfully, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be, but the blown motor still puts us almost 40000 in the hole for this weekend. But uh, on the bright side with the season ending, we do get a sponsor bonus going into next season. So at least I have that to look forward to. So it looks like Sterling won the race and Ricky Rudd is the cup champion. I was dejected and said, ah, we'll be back next year. So Ricky Rudd had more wins than anybody and looks like it was a three-way tie for top fives and then he was just one behind that. So great season from him gotta go down a little bit we drop back to 22nd I think we would have had Casey Atwood if we had a good finish but unfortunately we did not <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead press the uh, end of season button and then next episode we will hop right into Daytona with a new paint scheme I worked with the mod designer to uh, make a new paint scheme for our second year so I'm really excited for you guys to see that I went and looked through the parts catalog real quick and we are like $50,000 short of upgrading the motor for Daytona so if I wouldn't have blown the motor and had a decent finish we probably would have been able to do that but you know it is what it is the new paint scheme will be ready for next episode so I will see you guys next week for the Daytona 500 and the start of our second season in the Cup Series. As always, I want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. Hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.